Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm gonna go over my November paycheck number two budget. Uh, this is for November 27th through December the 10th. And then I'm also going to do a debt balance breakdown so you guys know after making a debt snowball payment, what my debt total is going to look like. Um, so I am using the Clever Fox. This is a dotted notebook. I do have the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck workbook, but since I have really scaled down my expenses while I'm trying to get out of debt, I just don't feel like there is enough here to justify printing out a huge piece of paper. So for now, I am going to be using this notebook. Um, all right, so as usual, I went ahead and wrote down all of my categories to save some time. All right, so first, let me talk about my last paycheck, so November paycheck number one. Now, in for November paycheck number one, I had planned on set, setting aside half of my rent so that when the first of the month came around, I would have all of my rent money if I split it up uh, between paychecks. My debt snowball amount was supposed to be $915. Well, I did not stick to this budget. And let me show you what I ended up doing. So this is my debt breakdown sheet. And I ended up using my rent money to go towards debt. So um, this paycheck, you'll see that I will be paying my entire rent all in one whack. So for the 13th, my beginning debt balance was $4,023. Have a minimum payment of $165. I ended up putting an additional $1,365 towards my debt. That gives me an ending debt balance of $2,493. So I made, you know, more progress than I had originally expected to do. So um, just wanted to point that out. So when I'm going through my budget, you won't wonder why. I am allocating more money towards my rent. The first category is my income. I am paid bi-weekly and I am a salary employee. My bi-weekly income is $1,700. Next are my fixed expenses. So like I was talking about just a minute before, I since I spent my rent money on debt, I am going to be saving $900 this check because my rent is going to be due on the first. So that is going to be 900. Now I don't, I rent a basement apartment in someone's home. It's kind of like a studio apartment um, and I don't pay any utilities. So my rent includes electricity. It includes internet. I only pay the $900 towards the rent. Next is Netflix and Netflix is $16. And I do share Netflix with my adult children. So we do have, I think it's, maybe it's four screens um, is what I ended up getting so that we could all watch it at the same time. Um, I don't ask my kids to contribute any money because it's only $16. And since I don't have cable here, the ladies that I rent from, we did have cable at one time, but they, for whatever reason, decided to uh, to cancel that service. And so um, I do watch Netflix quite a bit as a source of entertainment. Same thing with Hulu. Um, I also share this with my kids. And again, since I don't have cable, um, it just gives me a little bit more variety. And we do have, uh, it's ad-free. So Hulu is going to be 
$12. Next is my AT&T cell phone. I have um, just a prepaid plan, which is pretty inexpensive. I have, I think it's eight gigs of data a month and I pay $45. All right, so the next expense is the gym and the gym is $32 a month. And I think I'm going to cancel the gym. The COVID cases are rising in my area and quite honestly, I have not been to the gym for a while. I do have hand weights here. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. So I think I'm going to call the gym and see how I can cancel this because I'm just, I'm just not using it. Um, so there's that. And then last is my dog license. I ended up getting, um, you know, a bill in the mail that uh, it's time for the license renewal and that is going to be ten dollars all right so let's add this up and see how much my fixed expenses are so nine hundred dollars for my rent sixteen dollars for netflix twelve for hulu 45 for my cell phone 32 dollars for the gym $10 for pet license is $1,015, which that's kind of a shocking amount because I'm so used to only setting aside half of my rent. That kind of, that is a bummer. But so if you're new here, I am paying the last debt, which is a Wells Fargo credit card, and it is in collections. So when I called to make my payment, I always love this. The Whoever it is that answers the phone, they say, well, you know, I see that you are on a payment plan. Are you calling to make your $165 payment? And I say, no. And the gal was like, asked me, she said, well, how much is your payment? And when I, I was like, 1,003, you know, 400 and whatever it was um, with the 165. And she was like, oh, <laughs> Like, really, I hate this debt. I want to pay it off as soon as possible. But it kind of is a bummer to see so much in fixed expenses this check, but that's all right because I made a huge debt payment last time. All right, let's talk about my cash expenses. The first expense is food and household. So I just kind of lump everything together. Um, food, household, toiletries, makeup, all of those things. I might as well just name this Walmart budget because I pretty much spend all of my money at Walmart. It's just easier to spend it in one place. So since I closed my, um, my local bank account and I'm having to go to an ATM to get my money out and it only spits out 20s, I am going to change my amounts up a bit now so for the first category I am going to budget $140 usually my food household toiletry budget would be $120 but again the COVID cases in my area um, they are rising and I just want to stock up not a lot maybe get like an extra a package of paper towels and maybe one extra package of toilet paper, you know, those things that I almost ran out of the last time. Uh, so just a tiny bit extra, an extra $20 to uh, get some things. Next is gas for my car. Um, I am actually not going to budget any money towards gas. I, I don't even remember the last time I put gas in my car. It has been quite a while ago. I actually went, where did I go the other day? Um, I don't remember. I had to leave the house for something and I looked at my gas gauge and it's, I still have a full tank of gas. I really just have not gone anywhere. So the gas that's in my car is going to last me for quite some time. Next is fur babies. Now I have a 
puppy and a kitty that are spoiled rotten and this category is typically for just them but I have started to feed the birds and the squirrels and the chipmunks out back so fur babies are both inside and outside friends and the budget is going to be $60. I have noticed that my birdie friends are eating a lot. Um, I have a lot of friends that come to visit every day. I had, oh my gosh, there must have been 20 birds outside. They, they were everywhere. My cat was, she was having so much fun watching them. But um, I do find that I'm going to need a little bit more bird seed than usual. Um, to help our furry friends outside, our feathered and furry friends um, get through the winter. So $60 is the budget. It was $50, but since I can only take out $20 bills from the ATM, we're just going to bump that up to, um, to $60. All right, so let's um, take my household and my fur babies budget so that should be 200 right yes 140 plus 60 is 200 for my cash expenses so that's a hundred dollars a week which is not too bad um, keep in mind I am single not married I have grown children that do not live with me so these this amount is just for me as a single person without any dependents living with them. All right, so let's do, let's take all of this and see how much I'm going to have left over for my debt snowball. So I'm going to take my income of $1,700. I'm going to subtract my fixed expenses of $1,015 and subtract cash expenses of $200, leaves me with a $485 for my debt snowball. So let's take, let's get this back out again, my debt breakdown. Again, uh, Wells Fargo is the last debt. There's no interest. Again, it's a collection account. Um, it doesn't accumulate interest anymore. All right, so I realized that I forgot the change on this uh, payment from 1113. So I'm just going to recalculate that. So uh, 4023, sorry about the glare from the light, 82 minus 165 minus 1365 is 249382. I'm going to round up and put this at $24.94, just to make it easy. So um, I'm not sure how I will edit this, but the next um, date that I had on here was YouTube income. I still have not been paid from YouTube as of the recording of this video, and today is Monday the 23rd. So I'm going to just put my paycheck here on this line and then I can always come back and make that change later. So again, beginning balance rounding up is $24.94. Uh, let's see, I'm not going to put a minimum payment because I've just kind of lumped it all into a debt snowball amount, which is $485. All right, so $24.94. Ninety-four minus four eighty-five is two thousand and nine dollars, which is not too shabby. All right, so I think that is everything for this video. I'm getting super close to being debt-free. Hard to believe that um, I'm this close. And this $9 is probably going to bug me. I do have a couple things listed on Facebook Marketplace um, that I am trying to sell. I think one of the items I have listed, I've got a, like a lamp at $15 and a standalone uh, kind of closet um, for $25. So this may be less than $2,000 soon if I can get those few things sold. 
then plus any YouTube income, of course, I will apply to my debt as well. So that is everything for this video. Um, let me know down in the comments uh, how your budget is going. If you guys have any, you know, financial goals this month that you were able to achieve or maybe some changes you might have had to make. But uh, that is everything for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.